Hey guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to the channel. Hey now! Hey now, we actually get new stuff inside the My Faction Game Mode, a second chance live event. The card market updated, and the token market updated. We get the Amethyst Tier cards inside of there. We get Randy Orton, Raquel Rodriguez, I know that was good. Dominic Mysterio, Alexa Bliss, Shinsuke Nakamura. We get Ricochet. Poor Ricochet was put in a damn ambulance. To remember him, we get an Amethyst. We have a Liv Morgan, Drew McIntyre, The Miz, and a Zelina Vega. Big shout out to 2K for finally giving me some Zelina cards. Giving her a little respect. But we need some more tokens. I've been pretty on top of it, I would say. This year, you guys know me. I'm I'm on the game. I'm I'm grinding, I'm getting these tokens, and I'm about to pick up number six to get the other four hundred. To unlock the Amethyst tier, that seems pretty challenging. We need another chapter of Proving Grounds. The last one didn't give out enough tokens, so we need another chapter. Roll it out, baby. I'm going to come back to the token market cards. We're going to take a look at the attributes, the badges. The badges look pretty good on them, but we're going to have to take a look at the card market first. Now, I do have the Sami Zayn. I don't know how much he is, honestly. Uh, showing here are cards I don't have. Luckily for us, I didn't get a damn thing in the extreme box. So all the amethysts are here, and we can see the price. 130,000 my faction points for Drew McIntyre and Lita. Drew McIntyre does have a second chance live event. You need him to get the amethyst Braun Strowman. Um, also showing here, Terry Funk, 100,000 my faction points. Bray Wyatt from the punches and promos. So me personally, I need Kevin Owens. I need Bray Wyatt. If I buy them off the card market, I unlock Persona, The Rock 2024. So that's something to think about. Do I want to save up, purchase them, or do I want to save up and get the next pack next Friday? I don't know. I'm very happy to see the card market updated, uh, but I, I think they messed up. I think they screwed up with the punches and promos. They should have rolled that out last Friday uh, to roll out punches and promos and extreme at the same time this week. A little strange. They messed up. They messed up. They brought back the Roman Reigns. That is when they should have put the punches and promos inside of here, seriously. Because when you put this inside... For example, we go to live events. We get a new one. And that new one is a Encore boss battles, or our, our second chance on this one. You need Drew McIntyre to get Braun Strowman. So if I really want that Braun Strowman, and I really do because I might need Braun Strowman for another live event. I'm terrified they're going to roll out a really good Bray and I need Braun Strowman. So I'm going to go out and get him. So the fact I have Drew McIntyre on the card market, I see the 130,000. I'm like, hey, that is a number... That I have in my head that I can grind for. And I know I can get it done. Although the grind really does suck. I know 130,000 is the number I need. If I were to go here and have to just open up packs. Until I get Drew McIntyre. It might never happen. The pack odds just aren't great. And you don't know how much MFP to grind for. So it's a little more intimidating. Or rather a lot more intimidating right. So just trying to make a point there. Update the card market. Uh, with those live events. It helps out. We have Bailey's Birthday Bash. You do this, you get a basic punches and promos, a basic heat pack, a thousand my faction points, a ruby cosmetic. For this one, we get an Amethyst Dijack. You don't know Dijack. You have to use a bronze card in this one. Extreme Rules match. You get that Dijack. You get a basic soul provider, 1,000 my faction points, and ruby cosmetics. We take a quick look at Dijack. Looking at so attributes, badges, level two's heavy handed sting like a bee, born to fly, level one on dive bomber. No resiliency on him, but he does have move thief. We go down to ultimate warrior's birthday bash. You need you need a ruby tier for this one from your men's division. This one's really good. A singlet supreme pack, all basic packs, but still uh, pretty good pack. Singlet supreme punches and promos, extreme, and you get faction war tickets. Now we go back to the token market. We got to take a look at these cards. We get an amethyst. Randy Orton, he is a striker, my favorite class in the game. We take a look at his attributes, things to stand out. 81's on arm power, grapple offense, leg power, running offense. We go down, how's the durability? 81's on those as well, for body and arm. Stamina 71, movement speed, agility 66 on those, 76 recovery. And an 86 on special and finisher for the badges. What do we got? Level 3 on Unstoppable, level 2 on Pain Train, and Heavy Handed, not bad. He's got Iron Jaw as a payback. The thing with the Amethyst, 
I always want to see resiliency. Resiliency only goes on an 85 overall or higher. Yeah, no, no resiliency here either. But we do have an Iron Jaw. I do like that one. Immediately recover from being stunned. For the badges, level 3 Lionheart, level 2 Pain Train, Heavy Handed. Her attributes looking as so. 76 is Arm Power, Leg Power, Grapple Offense, Power Submission Offense. We go down looking as so. There we move on. We have Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Another striker here. Love it. His attributes. Plenty of 84s and 89s down there. We got, oh, Merciless Opportunist. Love that. One of the best badges you can have. He's got a level 3 Quick Climber. Level 2s on Merciless Opportunist and Dive Bomber. For the payback, he's got Low Blow. Are we not going to see Resiliency? This is interesting. Yeah, come back on this Alexa Bliss. We got level 3 on Dirty Trickster, which is pretty good. I feel like I was underestimating that one. Until I tried it out. Level 2 on Sting Like a Bee and Slippery Eel. We got 84s on Stamina and Speed. 78 on Agility Recovery. Special 84 on the Finisher. Next up, we have an 85 Drew McIntyre. So all of them 85s except for Randy Orton and Raquel. They're 86s. The attributes of Drew McIntyre looking as so here. Anything stand out? I mean, 82 Finisher, pretty good. 82 Strength. Little low on the Stamina. But it's doable, 67 on that. Stamina is just tough this year, it really is. Level 3 Dirty Trickster, level 2. Really good badges here, really good badges. Heavy Handed and Merciless Opportunist. He's got Iron Jaw as a payback. I don't think any of them will have Resiliency. From the look of it, come back on this live. Energetic Opportunist, level 3 badge, level 2's on Determination and Sting Like a Bee. Sting Like a Bee is awesome. What do we got here, Liv? We got 80. On running offense, that stands out as 75 on technical submission offense. I like that. 80s on pin escape, stamina, 85s on agility, movement speed, more 80s down here on recovery and special, and a 90 on the finisher. The live looks pretty decent. Next up, we have Ricochet, a high flyer. Really, really, really fun moves that Ricochet cards in this game. A lot of fun. Uh, 90 Stamina, Agility, Movement Speed, 79 Recovery, 74 Special, 79 on the Finisher, level 3 on the Quick Climber, so good to use in ladder matches, level 2 on Dive Bomber, Swiftness, and for the Payback, he's got Comeback, next up, Shinsuke, Nakamura, love it, anything stand out, 82 on the Leg Power and Running Offense, I do like that, 72 on the Technical Submission Offense, more 77s down here. A lot of them. Body durability, arm durability, pin escape, stamina, recovery, special. His movement speed is going to be an 82. Agility is 72. Finisher in 82 as well. We take a look at his badges. Oh, yeah. Love to see all we see a coming gain special when you reverse an opponent's attack. I love that. Level 2 on that. And Sting like it be a level 3 on Weapon Master. Shinsuke looks pretty decent. I wish he had a different payback. But is what it is with that. We have two more cards. The Miz. Another striker. I love all the strikers. His attributes looking as so. 85s on agility recovery finisher. 79 special and movement speed. His badges. Oh, Showman. I don't really like Showman though. We need more quick winner and unscathed. Showman you win just after a successful finisher for bonus my faction points. But you got to do it with the Miz. That's the problem. That's what I don't like about it. I wish it could be any teammate. Energetic opportunist, determination, payback of comeback. And the last and final one, Zelina Vega. We take a look at her attributes. Going to be really strong on the aerial attacks. Range of 94, offense in 88. We go down. She's going to be really quick. 88 stamina. Love that. 87 movement speed and agility, 88 on the recovery, love that as well, 88 finisher, and an 82 on the special, so attributes down here look really good. Up here a little weaker, 70 arm power, 70 grapple offense, 70 running offense, but that's okay, she's going to make up for it with her quickness. And then for the badges, level 3 determination, level 2 sting like a bee, and always see it coming, I love the always see it coming badge. And then for the payback, she's got comebacks. And that is going to be it for the video, guys, I got a... Uh... I gotta decide what the heck to do. This card looks pretty good. Amethyst Braun Strowman. 
This is a card I don't have. 90 power submission offense, 85 arm power grapple offense. This card looks decent. This card looks pretty decent, but I don't have the Drew McIntyre. So should I go out and grind for the Drew McIntyre so I can get him off the card market? Or I can grind for Kevin Owens and Bray Wyatt. If I collect those two cards, I would get the Rock 2024 Persona card. So I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like I should get the Drew just in case I need Braun for something, you know? All right. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up to put me over. Drop a comment below. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.